To give you just a brief overview of some of the successful projects that Dr. Kareem has been a part of, Dr. Kareem began his public exposure in the 1990s with a series of projects at the Egyptian National Research Center. And to make a long story short, they basically asked him to affect the life functions in living beings through pure geometric forms. Now, according to modern scientific and medical theory, it should not be possible for a simple geometric form to affect the life functions in a human body. There is no mechanism for that understood in modern science. But it's something that you find indicated in many classical traditions and is connected to many classical healing systems. So Dr. Karim was challenged, for example, to have two Petri dishes with different fast replicating cell cultures and leave one alone. And in the second cell culture, he was to put a simple geometric form over it or next to it that would kill all of the uh, biological life in the second Petri dish. And as an indicator of the type of person Dr. Kareem is, he says, biogeometry is not for killing, and I'm not going to kill anything. But what I will do is I will put a simple geometric form over this Petri dish, and I will completely paralyze all life activity. I'll put in suspended animation everything in that Petri dish. That's exactly what he did. And this is the report from the National Research Center of Egypt, written by the head of the Department of Microbial Chemistry indicating the success of the first experiments and that they could not explain how a geometric form could affect life functions to that level. Dr. Kareem then continued to work for them for an extended period of time. He was the head of a research project started at the National Research Center in which he uh, showed them uh, many different fascinating applications of this power of the shape-caused wave to affect living beings. This then led to his participation in the National Hepatitis C Research Project. And in this particular research project, they were examining all <coughs> mainstream and alternative methods for helping treat hepatitis C, which was epidemic in North Africa. And in Dr. Kareem's group, he said, I don't need to meet anybody in the group. I'm simply going to find the biosignatures that will be of assistance for the body to strengthen itself in the midst of this particular challenge, because biogeometry doesn't kill anything. And he then put a series of biosignatures first on the particular form that you see at the top left, a very early form of what we have today as the biosignature medallion. And what you see at the top right is the latest version of the biosignature medallion, something that could be worn on the body that has the biosignatures and gives the energy to the energy field. Just from wearing this particular early form of the medallion, Dr. Kareem essentially won the first stage of the Egyptian National Hepatitis C Research Project. After the end of the first stage, the people wearing his medallions, which were given to 300 persons, had a 90% normalization of their enzyme levels, which was much higher than what came in second best, which was interferon, and had none of the toxic effects of the interferon. The results of this project were announced on Egyptian national television. Also, some people, simply from wearing this particular medallion, reported on national television and showed their blood work that they had complete viral clearance and there was no more hep C in their blood. Not all people got complete clearance, but everybody improved. When we asked Dr. Kareem how come some improved, well, others got complete viral clearance. He said, because all we did was have them wear these forms on the body. If we wanted to get a more uniform result across everyone, we'd also need to energy balance the energy where they live, the energy balance the location, because that's also something very fundamental and important. Dr. Kareem has then done a huge number of projects, not just with human beings. And Dr. Kareem himself is not a medical doctor. He makes no medical claims. He always allows the medical doctors in the project themselves to announce the results. He's also done projects with animals and with plants. This is one that was done in Egypt with a, a chick farm. And through creating strong BG3 concentrations within the farm, they could get better growth and much better health in the chickens than they actually got by using growth hormones and antibiotics. They use no antibiotics and no growth hormones. In this particular representative example of one of Dr. Kareem's many plant projects, he did this in association with an agricultural university in Holland. And he created particular types of biogeometrical forms that are illustrated, sorry, on this part, bottom left-hand side of the slide. They have particular angles associated with them, or they have to do with particular vibrations that are put at a particular angle around the field, what's known as color and object balancing in biogeometry. 
So they had two groups of apples grown at exactly the same time. One was grown with artificial fertilizer and with pesticides to keep the pest away. The other had no pesticides, no artificial fertilizer, simply created strong BG3 concentrations around the apples. They were then picked at the same time, and after being kept for a month in a heated apartment, you can see that the ones at the bottom left that were conventionally grown are already, already rotting. But the ones at the bottom right are still fine after a month in a heated apartment. So what Dr. Kareem basically was able to illustrate in this particular project is that by creating strong concentrations of this energy quality, this energy field, around the apples while they were growing, he could get the effect of preserving the apples for a longer time. They would have a higher <coughs> nutrient count. They would have no pesticide on them. And no artificial fertilizer would be required. Now today we're being told that we need to irradiate our food supply so that the uh, vegetables and fruits will last longer for the grocers. But Dr. Cream has already demonstrated that you can increase the life force inside of the produce and it'll last for much longer without killing the life force through external radiation. And again, this is just one example of a huge number of projects that Dr. Kareem has done. In another fascinating project that was done off the Red Sea, he uh, was asked by an engineer if there was some way that they could grow crops in salt water. And Dr. Kareem said, I don't know, but I'm willing to, to try it, see what happens. And so he simply ran the salt water coming from the Red Sea through particular shapes and angles that would concentrate this BG3 energy quality and infuse it into the water. Then that BG3 infused water would be used to uh, water the sweet potatoes that were growing and the sweet potatoes themselves held within a container that concentrated BG3 around the growing sweet potatoes. So they had sweet potatoes that were grown normally using fresh water and they grew normally. Those that were given salt water straight from the Red Sea didn't really grow at all as you would expect, but using salt water straight from the Red Sea that had not had any salt taken out, but simply had, had added to it this BG3 energy quality, they actually grew as well or better than the ones that were grown using the fresh water. And so this is a remarkable demonstration of what can be done with these types of energetic applications that Dr. Kareem is a real master of. And it indicates that it's possible even potentially to do things like irrigate with salt water. It seems to indicate that these energetic qualities are actually primary over the chemical constituents. In another project that Dr. Kareem uh, did with the Egyptian National Research Center, they were testing, is it possible to use this type of beneficial energy field to protect living beings from toxic radiation, even nuclear radiation? For that, they built a series of different cages. And the cages were built with radioactive materials and mice were kept within the cages. Those that were kept within the, the radioactive cages with no other applications all began to develop cancerous tumors, as you would expect. But mice within the exact same type of radioactive cages that simply had some of Dr. Kareem's BG3 generating forms near the cage, like this biogeometry cube, as Dr. Kareem calls it, simply having that in the same area, the mice within these particular cages were healthy with no signs of tumors. So again, this seems to indicate the power of this particular type of vibrational application of these types of energetic fields. Dr. Kareem has also applied this to mainstream work in electromagnetic fields because many people today are becoming highly electrosensitive. We have such a constantly increasing intensity of electromagnetic fields around us. Some people are beginning to become like canaries in a coal mine and they cannot be around strong electromagnetic fields. This is a growing problem. Dr. Kareem did a project in Switzerland, in Hamburg, Switzerland, where he was able to neutralize electrostress through the entire town in Switzerland using various types of non-electronic devices based on geometric shape like the one that you see him holding here in the bottom illustration. These shapes can be applied at any level from a particular appliance to a person's entire house with what Dr. Kareem has developed that he calls the home kit, or they can be applied in large industrial applications like what we see at the top right, where they can actually be applied to power generating plants themselves. Dr. Kareem is also very aware of a phenomenon that is best known in Central Europe and particularly around Germany and Austria, which is geopathic energy grids. These are particular lines of energy that run through the earth that have toxic radiation 
And in the German research, they've identified the way that these particular lines of toxic energy running through the earth can be connected to all types of human health problems and particularly have been implicated in the German and Austrian studies with cancer. But they can lead to a variety of different problems in the human being. And so what you see in this particular illustration is when these multiple geopathic lines cross at the point of where you have the tree here, you then have something like cancerous tumors created on the tree. And again, this is very well known in Germany, but not as well known in North America. So if you take a look at the top right illustration here, the problem that we have is that these types of toxic earth energy lines will run in a constant pattern all over the earth's surface. Now in the ancient world, they knew about this, and you can find references to these types of earth energy lines in all types of classical traditions. But in earlier times, these lines were not as toxic as they are today. They will actually conduct the toxicity from our electromagnetic field technology that we've developed in just the last hundred years through these earth energy lines, making them far more toxic. And then leading to the problem, having these lines running through your home, and if you're sleeping, as the Germans have found, over crossings of those earth energy lines where the energy is intensified, it can lead to very serious health problems for people. And again, in North America, most people are not even aware of this phenomenon. Dr. Kareem, once again, has solutions for this that he's developed with his knowledge of the shape-caused wave and of biogeometric energies that can be applied to anything from a single Earth energy line to forms that can actually be placed in the Earth and affect very large areas.